Good evening. I've just done a stupid thing. Oh. Well, I pressed the wrong button. Um. I've gone for Mother Towson. Um. Let's activate her. Confirm. So, how does she? She unlocks very low, 520 health, 102 speed, so she's slow. There's all the stats. First things first. Thank you, credit heists. Six million two hundred and sixty-nine thousand six hundred and fifty-five credits. Wallop. So that's her level eighty five. Strength, agility, tactics all jump up a lot. Three thousand five hundred and forty four health, hundred and two speed. 369 physical damage, 616 special damage, resistance, blah, 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 blah. Um, I really don't think I'm going to be able to gear her very highly. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not that well prepared, but let's see. Because any... Um, gear hunting is going to be taking place after the guild reset, which is in an hour. I'm rushing through these because I've actually got an arena battle that I need to get involved in. I might even record that. I haven't been recording much of my arenas. Um, because they're kind of all the same. They're the same battle. I'm fighting. Oh, look at that. That's just mean. But, unfortunately. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to do this frugally. Because I'm trying to hold on to my energy for the reset thank you very much all right so i need the same thing again thank you you know it's a gearing oh uh, it is all right What am I missing? I can't do the Night Sisters thing. I've already done it. three balls and a couple of condomy bits okay um oh what we can do though is do some of these so um i core lightning i'm guessing i core i'm i'm assuming that's how I pronounce it deal special damage to target enemy deal special damage to all plagued enemies which can't be countered oh if 
the target was plagued, inflict plague for three turns. Okay. How many abilities she got? Loads. Dark magic. Deal special damage to all enemies and inflict plague for three turns. This attack ignores protection. Plague. Unit loses 5% health when inflicted and at the start of their turn is immune to allied dispels and loses all stacks of plague when healed to full health. Just gonna. Um, I will. It's an option. Plus thirty percent damage and minus one cooldown. Uh, let's see what other goodies we've got going. Deal special damage to target enemy and call all Night Sister allies to assist. If any enemies are defeated, all Night Sister allies are revived and recover one hundred percent health. Reduce the cooldown again. And then we've got a leader, the Great Mother. Night Sister allies have plus 30% potency and plus 15 speed. When a Night Sister ally uses a special ability, they inflict plague on the selected target for three turns, which can't be evaded. When an enemy resists the detrimental effect, all Night Sister allies gain 5% turn meter. Read it again at seven. Okay, so this is the one at the first Zeta. So let's go back to seven before I actually have a butcher's at this Zeta. Night Sister allies have 50% potency and plus 30 speed. When a Night Sister ally uses a special ability, they inflict plague on the selected target for three turns, which can't be evaded. When an enemy resists a detrimental effect, all Night Sister allies gain 5% turn meter. Oh, hello. This goes on for a bit, doesn't it? Let's go for the highlighted one. When a Night Sister ally uses a basic ability... Oh, right, it's the beginning again. Uh, during their turn, a random defeat... Oh, actually, no, it's not. When a Night Sister ally uses a basic ability during their turn, a random defeated Night Sister ally is revived with 50% health and called to assist. Then the revived ally is immediately defeated unless an enemy was defeated. The revived ally can't be revived by this effect again until the end of the next turn. Okay. Well, that's quite funky. And we've got Plague Bearer. At the start of each enemy turn, if they are plagued and Talzin is active, they have 75%. Okay, that's going to change. Right, let's just get to the number 7. I'm guessing this is another Zeta. Right, number 7. At the start of each turn, if they are plagued and Talzin is active, they inflict plague on another ran random ally, which can't be evaded or resisted. And the Zeta is, when any unit falls below half health, Talzin gains a 35% turn meter. Doing both soon enough. Twenty seven and thirty. 
Hang on, so I need 13 Omegas there. I need 13 there, that's 26. I need 36 Omegas to max her out. And it's looking like I probably should. Okay, um, elephant in the room time, I suppose. I did say I'd been stupid. I didn't look at the stats. We'll look at them now. Why isn't my GP thing dropping down? So health now 9,344, 9, 110 speed, 721 physical damage, 1464 special damage, how much? 14 and a half, 14 and three quarter percent. All right. Ten thousand four hundred and twenty-four. So, what's that? Eleven hundred health increase. Eight twenty-eight physical damage. Fifteen point seven five physical critical chance. Eleven point zero four on special critical chance. Sixteen forty-seven on special damage. He's got a move on. My payout is very soon. Sorry, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna go in and do it. So, actually, I will just. So, it's six star, 12,566 health, um, protection, and everything. I'm gonna have to wait until I gear her up. Um, next gear level will start to bring that in. Um, speed is still 110. Physical damage 1055 now. 17.75 physical critical chance. 2036 special damage. 11.04% special critical chance. 10.15% resistance. And finally, stupidly. Ta-da! 13,628 health, 1161 physical damage, 18.71 physical critical chance, 2,218 special damage, uh, special critical chance hasn't changed, 11.15% resistance. There she is! 7 star Mother Towsing. Yay! Thank you for watching.